Now that the desk is all set, I can sit down and edit this video. Whoa, wait a second, uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Okay, this is going to be a different style format. Uh, I'm reorganizing things here on my desk to prepare, um, not myself, the computers for future projects. And I thought it would be interesting to bring you along with me on this journey. Sometimes I shake things up, <laughs> I reorganize everything. And yeah, this is what we are doing today. I've been postponing this for a long time, but I would love to have a separate computer to record the Patreon podcast, record interviews, and especially work on some tasks. For example, two that I have in mind are Obsidian Sync. It's a self-hosted sync and Air Message that is a way to, let me show you here, to use iMessage on an Android phone. And both of this here require a computer that's always on. My plan is to use that computer, that's a Mac Mini, that is connected to this display here. But let me show you what happens here on my desk. I have this M1 Air that is connected to that display. But I can move, let me try to show you this, I can move my mouse and I can use this keyboard on that computer because it's set like this. If we go here to advanced, you can see that I, I'm linked to a Mac. This Mac, this Air is linked to that. Uh, Intel Mac there, the, the Mini. Okay, I can do all this. I cannot move uh, a window there because they are two different computers. But as you can see here, they synchronize. This is a file. They synchronize using iCloud. So I have the files in both computers. So why is this a unique solution? Well, I can use this computer for some tasks and this computer for other tasks. For example, if I'm recording uh, an interview, this computer will be only recording the interview and I can have Evernote and other uh, uh, support uh, software and other things open on this computer. So I'm splitting the workload between two computers. Okay, let me go to the other side so you can understand it better. This is the angle you are used to. That's my charging station. <laughs> and this is the new angle I'm looking for. But this here uh, was just a test and this is pretty dangerous. I have to move this to here. Then I'll be able to use this here. And I also want to organize all these cables that were previously connected to that computer. Okay. Let's do it. First step is to disassemble this to reach those screws. This was originally a drawer. Oh, by the way, if you like what I do here, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Anyway, I converted it to this extension of my desk for my keyboard and trackpad. If you want to learn more about it and how Evernote helped me build it, please check the video in the description below. Now this is not moving at all. Much better. I don't know why I have this here. <laughs> this is here because that monitor was here before. There's no use for this here anymore and I would love to have more space here. So I'm also removing this. This is how I use the camera I'm recording with right now as a webcam. And so we are gonna organize that. And this is the long, long, long microphone cable that I will also organize now. 
let's put this here. This microphone is not connected to that camera. It's connected to the computer. Uh, so this is how it will look like. It took me a while, but I think I, yeah, it's just the beginning. Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna change this a little bit in the future, but it's good. So one thing I didn't put on this are the tutorial recordings. Nowadays I do it on my MacBook Air, but I'm always switching to the tests account. So my plan is to leave the tests account on all the time on this computer here. And if I have an idea, if I have to show you something, it's as easy as just using the tests account. So from now on, all the tutorials will be recorded on this computer. Let's clean this mess. Okay, let me give you a quick tour. That's my workbench. You've seen it in other videos, but this is the topic today. My desk. This is just an experiment to see if the softbox will work well here. If it does, I'll make something a little bit more presentable or not. I like this rustic uh, feeling of my builds. See this one, this one. <laughs> I like this, it's kind of industrial. This is another thing I built. This is uh, from a wine box, like the one I removed from the desk. But anyway, so when I arrive, the first thing I do is drop my keys and my glasses here, sometimes my phone. This is where I record the shorts. The camera is like this, and this is another angle to record. So I have this, I don't know the name, what's, what they are called, hooks, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so this is where I work. My Air connected to that display and the Mini connected to this display. This is what we built today. So this computer now has the microphone permanently connected to it. And if I need to record a podcast or an interview, I'll use this microphone. But I'll keep using this ones to record the, uh, the tutorials and videos like this one that I'm recording right now. Okay, let me show you from back here how it looks like. So this is what you don't see. You can tell that I rarely use a printer because it's down there. <laughs> I, I, in fact, I use it only to scan documents. Anyway, and this is what you usually see. If you enjoy this one, please let me know because I do enjoy producing videos like this. But before I go, uh, allow me to talk a little bit about this desk situation. This is not going to be a perfect desk. I'll change it somewhere in the near future, probably. I change it all the time. And at least for me, those beautiful, pristine desks that I see on YouTube videos would never work. I like to watch those videos, but I don't even like the desks because they don't seem real. My desk's always a big mess. It's organized now because I just finished organizing it. Uh, I usually have cables all over the place, cards, the things everywhere. It's not a, a pile of paper, a pile of things just uh, using space. Everything that is there I use but it's not organized, it's not pristine, and it's not forever. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, please, uh, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And if you wanna help the channel, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. Thanks for watching, see you soon.